Hey guys, congratulations on getting into UT. My name is Michael and I study computer science here. So we want to give you this tour to show you around campus because we know you won't be able to come here during the summer. So to start off this tour, we're here at the UT Tower. It stands 94 meters tall, 27 floors high, one of the tallest buildings on campus. And a fun fact about it is that it lights up burnt orange whenever we win a sports game, which means it doesn't light up too often. I'm just kidding, no, actually we win a lot. We're actually pretty good. Anyway, let's start the tour. So here is the WCP building. Uh, it's what otherwise known as a student activity center. There's a lot of cool food things such as Taco Cabana, Chick-fil-A, and Starbucks. And finally here, the university, they recently renovated this place, which is really nice to study when it's not 100 degrees outside. Here, there's a lot of study abroad fairs, there's party in the plaza, student org fairs. It has a lot of different things, but where a lot of the physical activity on campus happens is inside the gym. It's pretty happening in there, and there's also an Amazon pickup location, so in case you need to buy something and pick it up on campus. I actually like studying here too, but I study to get swole. Oh, um, well, I guess it's still a work in progress, but let's continue to adjust her. All right, so here is Jester. It's one of the largest dorms on campus and it's probably where most of y'all will be staying at. It kind of looks like a prison from the outside, but don't worry, it looks pretty nice inside. There's a lot of different food options, such as JCL, which is like a food court, a J2, which is a food buffet, and a Wendy's that opens until 3 a.m. in case you and your buddies need to stay up late to study. So here we're at the PCL. It's across the street from Jester and it's where most people come to study. There's six floors here, and some floors are dedicated to quiet studying, some are dedicated to more collaborative stuff. I personally never studied here, but I've heard that during finals week, people will come camp the night just so they can study all night. So here is UT's pride and joy. It's probably where most of your tuition money is going. I'm just kidding. It seats 100,000 people, and on game day, it's literally a sea of burnt orange. It's awesome. I remember when I came to my first game, we were cheering at the top of our lungs, cheering for our UT football team. So let's hope that in the fall, there will be a season in which we can cheer on our team. Fingers crossed. All right, so we've arrived at UT's second pride and joy, the canoe statue. Yeah, well, I don't know what its purpose is or why it's here, but what I do know is that it's UT's way of saying, we're all on the same boat. <laughs> All right, so here we're at the Student Services Building. It's one of the buildings here in North Campus. If you're here, you're probably, you might be looking for a nurse or you might be shopping on the on-campus pharmacy. But when I was here, I did some technical CS interviews. I got PT for my ankle. I even got a flu vaccine and I even studied here. All right, so here we're at Kinsolving. It's an all-girls dorm, but they have a buffet that's open to all students, which I personally like a little bit better than one in Jester. I don't know what the rooms are like, but according to my friends who have stayed here, they say it's pretty nice and pretty spacious. Well, that's it pretty much for North Campus. There's some other buildings, some other dormitories, but um, let's go to the Union FAC area now. So behind me is another pretty important student hub, the FAC. It's open 24 hours from Monday to Thursday, and it's another place to study. But sometimes it can get kind of loud, so it's not always the best place to be. Behind the FSC is the Union, which is another pretty cool place. It has an underground bowling alley that on Tuesdays you can pay $1 to play, and other food options such as Chick-fil-A, Steak and Shake, Starbucks, and Panda Express. So yeah, it's a cool place to go grab a bite, hang out with your friends, and even study. All right, so here we're at the Littlefield Fountain. It's hopefully where a lot of y'all will be taking your graduation photos in the future. And that's the end of the tour. Hope that was helpful for all of y'all. I really enjoyed walking around campus and showing you guys what campus is all about. And if you had any more questions, feel free to reach out on the links below and we would love to answer them for you. All right, so that's it. Hope to see you guys in the fall. Hook'em horns. <laughs>